The Tigers lost today, 5-2 to two, to the Tampa Bay Rays. Uh, pretty rough game all around. Uh, the pitching wasn't too bad, but we had a pretty rough bullpen arm, and the starter didn't go as long as I hoped, so we can get into the lineup today. So we had Grossman going one for four with a decent game. He had a single in the fourth. Uh, pretty rough play, though. Um, he grounded into a double play in the eighth after we had runners on first and second with one out. It really looked like that was the inning we had a chance to come back and make a run, so that kind of sucked. But uh, on the scope here, rough day, 0 for 3, but he had a walk, struck out in the ninth. Uh, I was hoping we could make a ninth inning run, and we kind of did, but I'll get on to that in a minute. Miguel, 0 for 4 today. Uh, he struck out his first at-bat in what should have been a walk. Really bad call from the ump. It was a high curveball, or sorry, a high slider, actually. S excuse me. And it was just not a strike, and he called it a strike. It was a really good at-bat from Miguel, and he wasn't rewarded with the correct call. So you hate to see that. But Candelario, good game today. Had a homer in the ninth. Had a rough start to the game with his first three at-bats, but he had a little homer with two outs there in the ninth, so... Pretty decent game overall. Haas was one of my prediction players. I thought him playing left would waken up his bat, but 0 for 4 today, and he struck out to end the game. Uh, two strikeouts in the day. Not many good swings today. Didn't look like he was picking up the pitch as well. I don't know. It's because he had a day off yesterday, and maybe tomorrow he'll be ready to go, but something was a little bit off in his at-bats. Uh, Nico Goodrum, great day today, two hits. He kind of shot himself in the foot, though, in that first hit, getting thrown off, trying to steal second. I I love the aggressiveness, but I just I don't get why we tried to steal two bases on a left-handed pitcher. Like, you never usually steal on lefties because they can just do that pickoff even after their windup because they can see you, especially from first. Like, you can steal from second on a lefty just like you do a righty, but not first. I don't know why we did it twice. Once, it's a mistake. It happens. We're aggressive. But once it happened, Hinch should not have had the steal sign on again because that was another rally killer when it happened a second time. But still with Nico here, he had a homer. It was our first run of the game in the fifth. It went really far, 425 feet, so he crushed it. It was his first homer since July, so... I don't know where Nico's power has gone. He didn't play much in August, but he did. He has played a decent amount now, and he did play a little bit in August. So I don't know where the power has been, but it's non-existent from Nico. But we like to see it today, so a good game from him. Uh, Garneau had some good at-bats. He walked in his first plate appearance today. Had a really nice 3-2 account, and he took the final pitch. Uh, he, he worked it from 1-2 to 3-2. It's something he does a lot. He does sort of chase sometimes, but every batter chases it once or twice. But Garneau's got a good eye. He works the count. That's something that he did really good yesterday that I didn't bring up. He had a really couple, or excuse me, two really good at-bats against Woodruff. That really brought his pitch count up and stopped him from mowing us down in the Brewers game yesterday. So good game from Garneau just simply because of his plate appearances. They were effective. Uh, Willie Castro won for three with a single in the eighth pretty good game from him but uh, he had a really nice fielding he was either him or Nico Goodrum one of them hit off Kroll's foot and then I think it was Nico Goodrum actually he grabbed it with a bare hand and threw a missile to first with a, a really nice play to get the out so uh, heads up there by Nico but back to Willie Cash a decent day today I still would rather have Harold play over him just for the simple fact that he's more consistent hitting he did get a hit today but <clears throat> usually he's over three Derek Hill was my other prediction player. He went one for three today. He had a fielder's choice in the third as well. So he got on base twice. Not a bad day. Uh, on to the pitching. This was the real talk of the day. Alexander, the first pitch of the game, was a homer. So that was a really bad tone setter. <clears throat> and then the next one was a hit and then a hit by pitch. So they got two runs in the first inning. Kind of really put the game out of reach from there. We didn't seem to be able to get the bats going ever for Tyler. So he pitched really nice bounce back innings after that. He finished his line with five and two thirds. So he gave us length. We'll take that. Just I, I think I predicted him to do this line exactly, but except for two innings, I did five innings, three earned runs, four strikeouts. So I was pretty on with the uh, prediction, but just a little bit more pitching time. So I was pretty surprised he went out for the sixth but it kind of screwed us in the end. 
because we brought in Carlton to get that final out, and he gave up a two-run homer to Zanino, so <laughs> kind of gave Alexander another earned run. Or actually, it didn't give him another earned run. I guess it was an unearned run. Or no, Nico Goodrum's uh, crappy throw to first was his unearned run. But yeah, Carlton came in. He got the final out, but not without a crap load of trouble here, as you can see. Three walks. Gave up the homer, of course, and a hit. I don't know what's what was up with Carlton today. I mean, I haven't seen a lot of him to be able to know if he's consistently pitching or if he consistently pitches well. But today was really bad. It kind of showed he wasn't ready for the majors. His control was everywhere. The pitch to Zanino was not good. I don't know if we're going to send him down, but I would have liked to see Foley in that high lever situation over Carlton. I don't know why Foley doesn't get the position over him there because... So far from the two smaller sample sizes we've seen between Foley and Carlton, I, I'd pick Foley every day of the week. But Kroll had a nice inning, and then Foley, of course, like we were just talking about, he had a really good inning as well. Eight pitches, four of them strikes, but he did get a uh, strikeout as well. So good game today from the pitchers all around. Five runs is not that bad, especially when you use these three bullpen arms. This is not any of our really good arms or any of our good starters. So we, we did what we could to uh, pitch today, and we just couldn't get the bats going to get us the win. So I will be back tomorrow for the pregame and the postgame.